A Minnesota lawmaker refused to meet with a group of high school Democrats from her district um, because according to her story, she's afraid it would end up with a sexual assault claim. This is a strange tale that uh, we'll take you to the beginning of. Here she is, first of all, Mary Franson. She is a representative from Minnesota's state legislature. Um, the Alexandria area high school Democrats is the name of the group that asked to meet with her one on one, or I guess group and her in her legislative office. This is how she replied. She says, I don't meet with partisan groups in my office. Besides, isn't your group actively campaigning against me? One of your members is soliciting funds for my opponent. Also, why aren't you trying to meet with state senator in the same district, so in the same area? And the Democratic group was like, well, you know, isn't it our job to meet and discourse back and forth and have discussions about both sides of debates and we are overall after all your constituents. She tweets back at them saying AAHS Dems is a partisan group. This is a high school group. And then she adds, thanks for playing. They come back and say, well, isn't it your duty to meet with constituents? And then she responds, it's not a legislator's duty to meet with a proudly partisan Democrat group. And then that thing. They're like, nah, and we'll get, and, and this is before all the weird, I don't wanna be Roy Moore stuff, but I wanted to pause here. And like, she's interfacing with high school students, yet she seems like the child here. So this is an odd story for me to do defense of local Republicans. And yes, from time to time we cover Republicans at the state level that are just totally cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? And she appears to be one of them as you're gonna see later in the story. But a lot of local Republicans at the state level, through my experience at Wolfpack, which is a nonpartisan group trying to get money out of politics, actually will listen to you. They 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 do take meetings with constituents. You're not they're not going to take a meeting with necessarily with an out out of state group, but all of our volunteers are in state, and they do. They hear them out, and sometimes they even change their minds. That's why when you actually see democracy. It's just a wonderful thing to, to behold, where when your representative actually represents you. So she doesn't represent all Republicans at the state level. And so if it's a high school group, you should be meeting with them. On the other hand, I'm not like, if it was just this, we wouldn't have even, I don't think we would have done the story. Like, it is a Democratic group, they're high school students, you should meet with them, they're your constituents. But it's not the end of the world if you don't meet with a Democratic group. It's, but it seems like nothing but positive optics to be like, I sat down with a group of high schoolers and had a conversation. But she didn't, she refused to go one on one with them. She kind of invited them to some volunteer event, but she says, I don't wanna, I don't wanna meet with you guys. And then pressed on why, think progress and got their hands on a private Facebook post that she made. Saying this in response, a man's life was destroyed in Alabama. 40 years ago, he met with minors alone, and they recently accused him of horrendous actions. In the world of we must believe every sexual harassment claim, I would think my approach is beyond reasonable. All it takes is one perceived action and my life is destroyed. The life of my family is destroyed. That is a risk I will not take. Why did she take it there? God, man, that's so weird, that's man. So strange. What is it with female Republicans from Minnesota and and their wild eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm referring to Michelle Bachman. You remember Michelle Bachman used to hide in the bushes of LGBT events to try to surprise lesbians. <laughs> They're so strange. I don't even understand why, how. <laughs> yeah, like she would jump out of the bushes, bushes, and be like, "I got you." They're like, "Yep, yeah, it's an LGBT event. You didn't get us for anything." That's okay. so weird. She's such a weirdo. Okay, and this lady's a weirdo too. She even looks like Bachman a tiny bit. Anyway, um, so under her logic, you can never meet with anyone alone. Yeah. And a man can't, a woman can't. Look, if you if she said, "Hey, listen, I don't want to joke around anymore about people." At, about sex at work anymore, we used to be able to do, but we can't. Right. You say, okay, yeah, I hear you, I understand, and you probably shouldn't, and especially because you're the boss, because you're a representative, etc. But if you like, out of nowhere, you're like high school kids. I mean, Roy Moore was accused of ripping one girl's clothes off and trying to head, force her head down into his genitals. I and mean, you weren't planning to do that with the high school students, were you? Mm -hmm. Well, like, why don't you just solve the problem, have them to your office, and just have someone else there? Like this is not the problem, you, it's strange. And then also in addition to blocking the leader of this group on Facebook and who was incidentally a 17 year old kid. <laughs> um, 
That leader of the group, uh, whose name is Jack Ballou, was really confused by all this. He said, if any of what she said was true, she could have just told us initially that she doesn't meet with minors. Why'd she change it to the Roy Moore thing, essentially? I'm also so confused how she started defending Roy Moore. Last year, I met with Mary through the student page program, one on one at her office. She had no issue then. It's just, and that's what gets me to like, maybe she, as a, a Republican out in the, you know, a, a state representative somewhere in Minnesota, in Alexandria, Minnesota, she is kind of adopting this Trump, let's tweet colloquially, we'll use emojis and this weird, instead of sad, she cuts and pastes like that, this emoji, which involves like a Japanese character. Like it's not like you can just make that, you have to go cut and paste it from somewhere. Um, and then to invoke Roy Moore, which is like the flavor of the day. Maybe she's a little behind, hasn't really read into what the consequences of this last election really mean. It's just this strange knee jerk reaction communication over social media that, that's very strange to me. Yeah, and she certainly didn't do herself any favors by comparing herself to Roy Moore. Not a savvy political move. Uh, at a bare minimum. If you like this video, bless your heart. We got a lot more where that came from. We do a full show every day, Monday through Friday. Come enjoy it ad free by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.